Iron Lines, today we are showcasing the new best broken, absolutely cracked out character. In this case, we have the third thousand year Blood War Yamamoto. The first Yamamoto we got exactly three years ago today, more so dedicated to him using his east and south attacks. Then a year later, we had another Yamamoto dedicated to his west and north attacks. And then now we have a new power version of Yamamoto, an all encompassing Yamamoto using every single attack in his arsenal. And I think this character visually is really, really cool. Despite him being the third Yamamoto, they still made him somehow unique and he's just absolutely broken. So let's demonstrate it and shout out to Extra for letting me use his Yamo today because if he did see my summons, unfortunately I did not pull him, but we are saving for his individual and hopefully I can get him here. So Yamamoto is a power swiper captain with the Quincy and Hollow kill ability. He is the first non-anniversary character or double team character to come with two killers and that is kind of crazy if that's what we can potentially expect sometime in the future. Quincy killer is somewhat of a niche killer but it's still good to have, especially in combination with the other killer that he does have, Hollow. And if you have a look at our characters in-game that are power characters with Hollow Killer, you will notice is that there hasn't been that many released since the 5th anniversary, and most of these characters don't really live up to what this now Yamamoto can do. So not only is he the best power character in the entire game, not only is he potentially the best character in the entire game, which we will show in a couple minutes time, but he also fulfills a niche in the power attribute, making him more valuable on your account in case you do lack a power Hollow Killer, for example. Which, just looking from the list here, there's definitely a lot of people out there that are in need of a great power holo killer. But what you will notice here is that we do have Yamamoto 2 out of 5. If you did pull him, I do recommend giving this character a special move source. You did get it from the anniversary point event. This is a character that is worth using on, especially to get that extra focus stuff. So looking at his skills, what you will notice is that he does have Sprinter plus 2, adding to his mobility, 20% Havoc, adding to his range, 50% chance to dodge hollow enemies, which is going to add some extra bit of survivability. And then he just comes with complete stat immunity, which you can share for your entire team. Frenzy plus one with the fact that he does have the spiritual pressure boost when inflicting status on it, which he can do very easily and also does have berserker plus 40 percent in addition to that you have 40 percent extra damage to burning enemies and weakened enemies which as you can see here he does inflict both on every attack so when you do inflict the status on it, not only are you getting an 80 percent stat boost to your sp stat you're also doing 80 percent more damage to those enemies and then it comes with Bombardment plus one and also weakened defense Marauder. This character is absolutely stacked to the entire brim. He's not only one of the hardest, if not hardest hitting characters in the entire game, he also has a stupidly overpowered Soul Bomb, where a character that is now special move level two out of five will hit harder than any other character that is five out of five. And that is why I do recommend maybe getting this character special move level two out of five to unlock that focus slot, as he does hit harder than someone like a Max Transcended Noel and seventh anniversary Ichigo, who did did last week hold the crown for the hardest hitting soul bomb in the entire game. This Yamamoto can double that damage with just special move level 2 out of 5. So jumping into Inheritance Trial Lobby, let's see how this character does perform. Luckily this time around though, we actually do have our killer. So we're actually best example here on how he is going to perform. What I can really like just from the get go is the fact that he is immune to every status element and can share it too. It's really nice in situations like this where you can basically just stand wherever the hell you want to. And it's nice. It's really, really nice. And what you'll notice here too is that we just have some of the best strong attacks in the entire game. And like with the skills that we have too, it's shocking how good this character has been treated. <laughs> it's actually surprising, honestly. So SA2 is going to be the uh, distant AoE into a tracking vortex. Basically the best strong attack in the entire game. And then his SA3 is a full screen. I really love that he is using the north attack, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I'm not too sure. And his SA1 is a 3000 lent beam. So you have... Basically, the best strong attacks in the entire game. You're immune to every status element, and you just hit so hard. Look how quick we are cleaning, and we're clearing up this quest so easily, and we have someone autoing and someone dead. Like, we're basically doing the work ourselves, right? But just look at that, 6k, and then I think when we inflict a status element, we're hitting like 11k, 38k even. This is just absolutely mad. The only bad thing about him, and we're really nitpicking here, is that he doesn't have any way to easily stay at full stamina. But, I mean, just with what this character can do, it just doesn't matter because he doesn't need to stay at full stamina. He isn't a character that wants... He can obviously stay at full stamina, but 
He doesn't have any full stamina abilities. Did hit 13k there on our SA2. But look how quick we're clearing this. I and mean, we're using a 2 out of 5 character here, lads. We're not using a max transcendent character. We're using 2 out of 5. And the numbers we're hitting, we haven't even been hit yet. And this quest, for the most part, is somewhat on the difficult side as it does feature a lot of rolling enemies. We're easily keeping our spiritual pressure boost. And we're easily able just to do a lot of damage. Keep the enemies in place. And just have amazing crowd control thanks to that SA2. And going into the final room, this is where this carriage is going to be absolutely insane. We'll use our SA-1 there just to push back the enemies. We saw Bomb letting off a massive, powerful attack. Activating our Bankai, even though we're already in Bankai. And look at that. So bombed through the entire stage. This, again, is the hardest hit and nuke in the entire game. We're only special move level 2 out of 5. We weren't even using attention tire. And we clearly just destroyed those bosses with our Soul Bomb. With the clear time that we did get, let's see what we actually were working with here. Again, not the greatest team. Not to downplay them. But, you know, 2 minutes and 21 seconds isn't too bad whatsoever what we're gonna do next though is see how he performs by himself because he can definitely solo it normally you want to have a good team to work with it but in this case yama can basically solo it all right so here we go let's see how fast we can actually clear right and hopefully we don't take any damage so we already inflicted the spiritual pressure boost he doesn't have any extra ways to inflict it you know compared to ichigo where every five seconds he has that you know increased chance of doing so or more so just a chance to inflict it yamamoto solely does rely on inflicting status elements through his strong attacks but again luckily he already hits hard to begin with and then you also have like the best sa2 in the entire game and that's going to hit a lot of times especially when up against multiple enemies you're not really going to have a hard time inflicting those status elements I and mean, realistically when you you are playing with a bunch of Yamamoto's or just other characters in general, you're going to be clearing super, super quick. And we're hitting like 13k there. So let's see. 6k when we don't inflict stat elements. I saw a 23k, I believe, on that soul bomb. And this has a bunch of enemies here. Let's flash step here into our SA1. 11k. Yeah, which is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm, we're playing co-op IT here, lads. We're not playing single-player content. How are we doing this? 23k there. Wow. And I really like the visuals of this character again. Like, even though they are technically reused animations for the... Not even reused. Uh, reused attacks. Because, of course, they are. They're from the same type of fight. Uh, I really love the idea of this character. This SA1 being just, again, perfect. SA2 makes complete and perfect sense to be a tracking vortex. It just... I didn't... I. Don't know how I didn't see it coming. It just makes perfect sense. And when I first saw it in the first initial reaction, I was happy for it. Because, like, it's just... It's a cool... Like, you're literally just dragging around the <laughs> the enemies with that uh, vortex of the skeleton stuff like that. His SA3 being a full screen 2 is really cool. You'll see that with Aizen as well. They switched out the Soul Bomb for certain strong attacks. Originally... Oh, we're taking a bit of damage there. Never mind. Hold on. Let's Soul Bomb here. Didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. I wanted to make sure I stayed safe because we actually messed up there. I went into a position where I wasn't supposed to. But now that just means we have to go against these bosses which normally you know there's gonna be two waves of bosses here but let's see how we actually how fast we clean up without even using our soul bomb so sa2 there that's gonna do a lot of damage inflict some status elements now we keep ourselves away from the enemies use our sa3 there we go doing a good amount of damage to those bosses we did actually 20 did i see it 26k was that a 26k was that 200 <laughs> that's really was a 200k <laughs> but that was a good amount of damage that was a good amount of damage with the sa2 the sa2 is obviously really really good super easy amazing character right there look at that let's just finish up there and boom what was that clear time now we did mess up there i do want to attempt this quest one more time by ourselves because we obviously used our soul bomb when we wasn't supposed to we did stand in a position that we were also not supposed to stand in and because of that it did slow down the run but regardless cop it by ourselves by the way and we weren't even going for the fastest clear time here at two minutes and five six seconds basically almost the same with four players <laughs> So jumping back into another quest, let's see how this time, if we can clear even faster. Again, already inflicted the status. I mean, that's what you love to see right there. Let's use our SA1 there, pushing back into the vortex, and then SA3, and look how much damage we did right there. Absolutely beautiful. I do want to say, though, I love the idea of this character and how broken he actually is, because in my opinion, Yamamoto deserves it. Uh, and, you know, it's not like his characters were ever bad, and most of his characters that have come out have been meta for the most part, right? But not to the likes of this, and I think he does deserve this. He's never had a broken character. It's always exciting to have characters like this that have never really had broken characters get broken characters. Like, you know, for example, Uryu. Most of his characters have been trash, so it's nice to get the 7th anniversary one, where, again, for at least a week, he did hold the title of best character in the entire game. Now, that basically goes to Yamamoto. SA2 there at a good spot. That's going to push all the enemies back in. We're going to keep our distance while we wait for our strong attacks to come back. Use our SA3 into our SA1. And there's a few enemies left with the SA2 that should clear up into the next room. At this point, we'll use our SA1. 
use a few in Nad strings. I don't like using his Nad string, but it does feel quite smooth to play around with. SA2 there. That tracking vortex is going to catch up, but we are going to use our SA3. And now we want to save our SA2 for when the next wave spawns in. So we're going to wait for our SA1 to come back because we don't want to, you know, we don't want to go overkill right now. Now use the SA2. Okay, I thought that was kill, but now we're going to back up and hopefully the vortex can do a lot of damage there. 39k on a strong attack, boys. Oh my god. That Zangetsu is basically dead. If, the, if we can evict the stars, which I think we did. Look at that. Beautiful. So it's clearly no lie this character is absolutely broken in terms of the damage output and the strong attack he does have. But it's just also so smooth to play a character like this. Uh, very rarely nowadays do we get characters with like perfect kits. Even someone like, you know, Ichigo, for example, the Sanf Anniversary one. Great character, but he has a problem with his strong attacks. This... Yammer though, not really the case. Everything he just does, it's just perfect. There's nothing bad you can say about this character, maybe outside of the fact that, yeah, sure, he doesn't have any way to stay at full stamina, but it, it, does, it just doesn't matter. We're going into the firing room again, we're just going to use a strong attack just to push back the enemies, and then we use our soul bomb, and it goes right through all five bosses. Wow. This is impressive. I am, I must say, I'm very, very impressed. By far, the best power character in the entire game. And that's what I really like about this character too. The power attribute was lacking. Not like the power attribute was bad. They have some really powerful characters, but not to the likes of this. You know, their best character for the most part was 5th Anniversary Ichigo and Bruno, debatably. And they, they're, they're kind of old. I mean, not really Bruno, but still, a 2 minute and 5 second play time. We wasn't really going super fast there, but by himself, that is good. If you get 4 Yamamoto's in a particular quest, you are going to clear very very fast and if hypothetically you want to carry momos this is a character that can definitely do that so what we're doing right now is hopping into an epic raid with a bunch of these lads here and we're just demonstrating how powerful he actually is what you'll notice is that we are giving him full stamina damage links and also sp items that is of course increasing his sp and we are using a tensitize so we can get that extra bit of damage on our soul bomb so what i'm going to do right away if i possibly can is just instantly use my soul bomb because that's one going to do a lot of damage or two give me the sp boost and three also weaken their defense and what you'll see straight away is that within five seconds we were able to get into the next phase and that's mainly due to the fact that we can apply double weakened defense because we did give that to him as a bonus ability now unfortunately i have taken damage here so i am obviously now doing less damage but it's really good because he, he is again a character that can do a lot of damage especially with his soul bomb but then you also, because you can give this character double weak in defense, you're able to just allow your entire team to do significantly more damage. And while it's true we did have a max transcendent Yamamoto here, obviously increasing the clear time that we're going to get, but we were able to defeat this epic raid with no killer bonus, by the way, in under 20 seconds. And mind you, that Kisuke epic raid has 50 million HP. And we did it in 20 seconds. Wow. Alright, so we're back into another run. Hopefully this time I can put in the work and actually not take damage here. So again, I'm going to soul bomb straight away. There we go. Into the SA2. Into the SA1. Hopefully I didn't miss that. And look at that. That's very, very quick. Again, reminder, 50 million HP boss here, lads. And we're clearing it this fast. Unfortunately, again, took damage. My fault, though. I haven't learned this pattern. It's the Awakened one. It just came out. So I am kind of just going into it blind. But... You know, if we're clearing that quick, and I'm, I don't even know the pattern, that is, of course, something that is worth mentioning because we don't even really need to learn the pattern with Yamamoto. We just go in, Oongo Boonga damage, and we clear so fast. So I took a lot of damage, people died, we didn't have a max transcended Yama there, and we were still able to clear with 40 seconds. That right there is a good character. So overall, lads, this Yamamoto is absolutely cracked. We're finishing up the video in a single-player IT just to see how fast you can actually clear it. I, I really like this character. Again, it's been a very, very long time since Yamamoto has received a very broken character. You know, not including a Bray Battle version that he did get basically this time last year. So Yamamoto has now been part of three anniversaries, which is kind of funny. But the strong attacks this character just has is just absolutely perfect. Anyone with this type of kit, literally Aizen has the exact same kit, six anniversary Aizen. You're already a great character, but then you have the skills that he has to... We actually dodged there. I forgot we even have dodge. That's something to remember. <laughs> so we would have taken damage there, but we didn't. And what... Bro, that, with one strong attack? Wow. This character is just absolutely cracked. Visually, again, I think he's actually really great. I think the special is a tad bit lackluster, in my opinion, because they gave all the core attacks to his strong attack, so it's kind of understandable why that is the case. But I think he's a fun character. 
I think he's very smooth to play. He has very good shrine attacks, very good damage output, and overall just really fun to play around with this particular character. Also, a team player too, since he is providing your team with that, you know, full stats immunity. I think Caleb did a great job with him. And again, in a couple days' time, potentially a couple weeks' time, not sure when it does happen, but we are going to showcase him in Guild Quest because we can't do that right now. But once the Quincy or Hollow Guild Quest does change over, best believe we're going to showcase how dominant this character is when it comes to the Soul Bomb damage. I think they made this character a tad bit too OP. You know, if it's one thing maybe making someone an absolute nuke, but then giving them bad strong attacks to kind of balance it out. In this case, they just gave him great damage, great strong attacks, and great nuke potential. It's just mad. It's just mad. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little showcase of the new Thousand Yababa Yamamoto. In the comments below, let me know what you like think about his character. He is amazing. I can't wait to get him potentially in two weeks' time when his individual banner does come out. And hopefully, I can get him. Because when you do, you are given a power special move source for the anniversary. You can easily make him 2-5. And 2 of 5 Yamamoto is enough to just dominate this entire game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.